Bob Hoover was a renowned test pilot, air show performer, and pilot instructor who had a long and distinguished career in aviation. During his long and illustrious career, Bob Hoover flew over 300 types of aircraft and tested nearly every type of American fighter aircraft. In 1989 at an air show at Brown Field, San Diego, Bob Hoover took a couple of passengers up in his Shrike Commander. Just after the aircraft left the runway, at approximately 300 feet, both engines simultaneously failed. Hoover flew down to the bottom to maintain the best glide speed, and pulled the plane up. Hoover managed to land the aircraft uphill onto the side of a ravine. The plane didn't travel very far at all before hitting a rock pile that caved in the nose and ripped the instrument panel from its mounts and onto Hoover's shins. The aircraft was severely damaged, but he and his two passengers walked away from the crash site. While waiting on the hillside for the rescue vehicles, Hoover went around to the side of the airplane and opened the drain valve. Leaning down, he took a whiff of the fuel and was greeted with the distinct aroma of jet fuel. The plane had been able to take off with the remaining aviation fuel in the engines and fuel lines, but as soon as the jet fuel reached the engines, they cut out. A member of the ground crew had mistaken the piston engine plane for a turboprop and misfueled it, directly causing the double engine failure, and the subsequent forced landing. When returned to the airfield, Hoover asked, where's the line boy who serviced my plane? Everyone seemed reluctant to tell him, apparently afraid that the airshow performer wanted to chew him out or be unkind to him. Finally, someone said, he's outside. Hoover quickly located the boy, standing by the fence, with tears in his eyes. Hoover went over and put his arm around the youngster and said, there isn't a man alive who hasn't made a mistake. But I'm positive you'll never make this mistake again. That's why I want to make sure that you're the only one to refuel my plane tomorrow. I won't let anyone else on the field touch it. And for the remainder of that weekend's air show, the young man refueled Hoover's P-51 without any further incident. Dear Friends, Bob Hoover's incident highlights the importance of being prepared for unexpected situations and learning from our mistakes. His ability to land the plane safely despite the difficult situation is a testament to his skill and experience as a pilot. Additionally, his kindness and forgiveness towards the line boy who made the mistake, giving him a second chance, is a reminder of the importance of understanding and forgiveness in our interactions with others. Let's always strive to learn from our mistakes, be forgiving and understanding towards others, and act with kindness and compassion towards those who make mistakes. This aligns with the teachings of Jesus, as stated in Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times. Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. <laughs>